Just so you guys know, we're going back for redemption today for that huge one that we lost from the same general area. I just got thumped. Oh, he's still not tired. I've got something big. Hey guys, how cool is this? So Dennis and Maria are staying at Paradise Point. I've been to Paradise Point about a thousand times. Coming from that direction down there and then going over here and landing and going to Barefoot Bar and this and that. But for the first time ever, I'm launching from this side. I know it's not a big deal to you, but for someone who lives in San Diego, launching from a place you've never launched before is kind of fun. I've just never had a reason to stay here. This place is really nice. You're literally staying on the water. I think the room right now is about 7.50 a night. So that's probably why I haven't stayed here. Look at that, how awesome is that? That's their room right there. There's Dennis, Marie's out there. And we're getting ready to launch. I know, not the big a deal, but I think it's kind of cool. Never been here before from this side. First fish of the day, boys and girls. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a little Hallie. Little guy. Those little halibut always feel like spotties. There we go. Just so you guys know, we're going back for redemption today for that huge one that we lost from the same general area. Actually, the area is right over there a little bit more, but this whole area has halibut, so we're fishing all over the place. So today I've decided to start off with a 10-incher, and then we'll let him go. And there he goes. Definitely feels like a spot. Another little halibut. Going crazy. Another tiny guy. You are coming off no matter what. There we go. Alrighty, boys and girls. Dennis is on a halley right now. We'll be to him in a few seconds. Let's see how big this sucker is. Uh-oh, I see him breaking out the measuring board. Oh, it looks like it might be a little short from here. Before you let him go, let me get a uh, picture and uh, some video. How big was he? I was guessing about 19 or 20. I, when I saw you pick him up, I was like, oh, I think it's a little short. Right on. Nothing but halibut today so far. Yeah. Heck yeah. Okay, I gotta get a picture, babe. I just got thumped. going on another 
another ride. This thing's going all over the place again. You ain't breaking me off this time. Bro. This is nice. Another nice one. Oh, thank you uh, that I changed my 25 pound leader. If you don't feel like the one that broke off the other day. I've got something big. This is big. Monster holiday. Holy shit. Okay. Do me a favor, stay away from me. Is your line out? Oh, okay. Wow. You guys want to keep this one? You're going to eat them? Oh. Sorry about the language. <laughs> Sorry, every now and then I forget I'm on the job. Oh, dude, I've been fighting this one for a little bit. Come on up, son. Come on up. This is huge. I've been wanting, my goal this year is to get a... Come on, he's got a monster. My goal this year is to get a 40-incher, and I don't know if this is it or not, but this is a big one. Oh no, if your line's not out, it's no big deal. I thought your line was out. <laughs> Holy sh! This is a donkey. Come here, come on up. I just gotta get you in the gaff range.
a little bit tired now. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, get, get near me, and I'll give you. Do you have a gas? No. Okay. Are you? Have you gas before? Are you comfortable doing it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Let me spin real quick. Yeah. Do wherever you got to go. He's hooked pretty good, I'm sure. Dude, you guys. This. Holy moly! This is the exact same thing that was on the other day. Oh. Calm down, bro. Oh, he's fine. He's fine. I'll, 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 I'll stop him. Oh, I got you. I got you. I'll pull him up near us. You're eating well tonight. Now, before we do anything, don't take the gaff out. Yeah. Let me get, hang on one second. Cause it didn't sound like your gaff went all the way through. Okay, wait, 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 don't, don't do, let me, let me get the fish grips on it. Or at least this through his, cause if he, if he flips and goes nuts. Right on, you know where this guy's going? I cannot wait to see how big this guy is. But you can take the gap on now. You might go longer. <laughs> yes. If you want to hold this, I'll get my pole out of the way. Oh. He's going to probably flip out like a mofo. Next. Over here. Hang on, he's got to measure him first. Uh, is, it even is it 36? Front one, I'm gonna bleed that bitch. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. 30. Here, I'll, I'll take them. And now, if you want to make sure your, your, um, uh, hooks and stuff don't connect to my boat right there. This is the biggest one out of here in a little while. I hooked one like this last week and it broke my line, so I went to a bigger line. And guess who's coming home for Din Din? Hang on one second, I'm going to let him move his line real quick and then I'm going to move the gaff. There we go. Holy crap, bro. Nice fish. <laughs> okay. Now, okay, now I got to get a photo. I'm videoing. All right, let me keep dunking him. Yeah, all right, now. Wow, that was... Dude, I, you know what's funny is, he hit it so hard, it just went boop, and my line went limp, and I just turned on the GoPro, and I'm like, I just got whacked, and I don't know what's about to happen, but it was such a hard hit. So, redemption. I can't believe it. I was trying to call it. I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to use this because the odds of me catching another fat one and bringing it in and yada yada, exactly how it happened is so slim. But, here we are, baby. Redemption. I upped my leader to 25 pound. I had no fear of it breaking off whatsoever. Just took my time. It was the exact same situation as last time. It was the exact same situation as the last time. He's still a little upset. But the last one pulled a little bigger. This one, I brought up a lot easier. Like he actually came up. The last one, he, he wouldn't come up. But uh, here we are, redemption, baby. You. One other thing I've been meaning to tell you guys that I keep forgetting, um, 
We're getting booked up for summer pretty quick. We're getting calls for uh, summer bookings almost every day. So if you're traveling here during the summer and you're wanting to uh, come out and do this, go for halibut or go for yellowtail in La Jolla, and you know the dates that you're traveling, you might want to call and reserve the dates because there's actually a few weekends in the summer that aren't even available anymore. And we're getting calls almost every day for people booking trips in the summer. So springtime still pretty fine. We're getting a few springtime calls here and there, but the summer when everybody's traveling and on vacation and all that stuff, we're getting booked out quick. So if you know when you're traveling and you're wanting to do this, definitely give Roxanne a call and uh, see if those dates are available. You might want to reserve it.